Hello guys, today we are going to be talking about glass and I would like to show you uh, a comparison between Blender Cycles and Blender Lux Core but this comparison could be extended to Corona, to uh, Octane, to V-Ray, anything because to be honest, straight to the point, glass in Blender sucks, okay? That's my opinion uh, and my opinion is based on a lot of years, lots of years using the software and experience in other render engines, right? I love Cycles, I use Cycles daily, I use Cycles, cycles as my main render engine. I work in a company that is based on Cycles nowadays and I know how to fix the glass. I know how to get the glass a good shader, right? But by default, I think that's something that Blender community or Blender developers should be aware to fix once and for all because that's a painful feedback for the every so every uh, person that tries to migrate from another software into Blender and get into this point to try it out shitter is a very deceptioning uh, experience okay it's a very frustrating experience and maybe they give up maybe because it's something so easy to achieve in the render engine and when they try that in Blender it's that basic thing it's 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 terrible as i will show you uh some people may give up you know i didn't give up i keep up with blender from blender 2.6 2.6 uh, I, I, I at that time i was seeing other things that was amazing and could make me kind of uh, feel that i wanted to learn the software but for lots of people that people that i know they give up uh, at, the, at the first glance okay and I think it would be better if Blender community addressed this issue once and for all. I don't know uh, why Glass is like that and I will show you right away and you will understand completely what I'm talking about. In here I have two different scenes, a cycle scene and a look score scene. It's the same thing, the same scene, the only thing, the only thing that is changed is the render engine. I uh, keep it look score with all the cycle settings. If you go to the world, it's using cycle settings. If you go to the shader, this shader here is using cycles set is using cycle settings. I will, I will use here cycles nodes. So it's using cycles settings, just that, okay? But first, I'm going to cycles, and I will show you that this material for of these mullions here are glass, a simple glass, okay? You may say, okay, this changed in Blender 4.0, but it still is the same approach. Okay, I can guarantee you. I'm using that using the version 3.6.4. The glass it still behaves the same way. Okay, the principal shader changed it, but the glass is still, it still, it still have the same main behavior. And I will show you which behavior is that. Okay, so this is the glass. If you go here to your render, that's what you're gonna get, okay? That's what you're gonna get. You get a glass. You have a glass. Doesn't matter if you change your IR, you just will make everything be more reflective. You know, the roughness is zero, okay? But no matter the shader you put it, Moody Scatter, Sharp, Benchman, Beckman, doesn't matter. It seems that the light doesn't go through. The light doesn't go through okay to fix that a little bit you may go here to your render settings let's remove light tree for now you go just here and you know we have transmission eight eight passes of transmission okay and it's still we don't see any light coming through the only way you can see something is pressing caustics refractive so this means that the light is coming through the windows but still guys we have a sunlight here okay and we can't see actually the sunlight hitting the walls this light doesn't make any difference this light is huge and it doesn't it doesn't make any difference in terms of the shadows we don't see the shadows being casted across the glass okay and the only way we can fix that, I will show you 
the difference first. I will show you the difference between this and LuxCore, okay? And also, just be aware that uh, turning it on refractive, it's not always the best solution for that because uh, sometimes you don't need that and you have uh, more bounces uh, being casting all over your scene and you would the your radar would kind of be more noisy okay so at, at the very beginning it should work casting shadows casting uh, letting the shadows pass it through and let the light pass it through just as it is now it should work like that okay if you turn it on refractive reflect it doesn't matter okay it is what it is right so now we go to look score render okay the same settings I didn't change anything the same glass material if you hit render that's what you get okay that's that's what you get with look score okay you get just this you see if you go to your look score glass material and you use your glass material that's the behavior that you expect okay that's the behavior and this is a problem of the material okay the material the glass material in cycles it doesn't it just doesn't work as you expect okay that's what uh, that's how it works in looks score let's render this here and you will see okay basically all the glass in the other render engines like uh, v-ray like redshift corona uh, all those render engines they behave the same they let the light pass through okay by default you don't need to do any hack you don't need to to do anything because a glass behaves like that the glass in cycles should behave like that by default okay i will tell i will show you okay this is the look score final render it looks nice it looks amazing you know that's what you expect when the light coming through your glass okay let's save this here slot one let's go to slot two and now let's go back to cycles okay here in cycles we have our terrible glass okay and then we go to our material okay the material output for this guy and let's go here okay and let's get these guys the winners like this okay Go back to look score. Okay, this is our cycle shader. Okay, this is our cycle shader. Okay, that's how it is. That's how it is. Okay, so in order to get similar effect, you have first to use. The light path shader okay connect a principal BSD I will, I will do this by default with you okay let's leave let's do this by default okay we will get our glass and then we will add a shader transparent shader transparent BSD okay we will connect both then you see, okay, now the light is passing through a little bit just because you have the factor controlling here. So you want to get a light path node, which is here, okay, input, light path, all right. And then you will tell cycles, don't take the radar, the, the glass shader for the shadows, like take the transparent shader for the shadows, okay. And then now it, it's allowing the shadows coming through okay but that's not all yet because you need the diffuse light coming through okay 
So you are gonna create another mix shader, okay? And take another transparent, connecting here, and now you're gonna tell, okay, get the diffuse as well and consider that as a transparent. Now you get the behavior you want because you have the, the environment lighting coming through and the sunlight coming through as well, okay? So now you have everything that you want working properly, okay? Uh, and that's how somehow the shader should be uh, ready by default okay people will not get that weird behavior from from the from the default when they start blender and then of course you can have this shader save it for you and use and reuse that and improve that uh, in your project right that's not a big deal but it is it seems it's not a big deal but it is a big deal because it's a simple thing that works like fine in all other render engines except for cycles and I don't see any reason for that to be like that that's the problem if it was a reason I would understand but I don't and I, I don't see any reason to cycles glass shader behaves like that just for the sake of comparison let's do a quick render here okay let's go for this uh, Render result image render result. Let's use slot two. What we have in slot one is the slot one is the the look score. Okay, let's go for slot two and press F two F twelve. Cycles is faster than look score, but I don't know some some things. I feel that look score maybe is a bit better than cycles. Let's compare here and see. So cycles took. Let's see. Is it still the compositor? Cycles took uh, thirty one seconds to render this and look score yeah 31 seconds as well not bad couple milliseconds of difference okay and they seems to be very very similar here right let's apply some uh, color correction I don't know why they seem so similar because they, they are not. Let's go here to the color management. And what is the color management of look score? Okay, here we go. Now we have the look score. That's the look score and that's cycles okay that's look score and that is cycles right why do you guys think it's better i don't know something tells me that i like a little bit more of a look score behavior in terms of shadowing you know lighting overall you can see here of course the quality isn't isn't the same Okay, in terms of uh, the noising, I think loop score should be more time to get the proper denoising. This, this means that the sample, sampling in cycles is faster. Okay, but I think overall light, I like more loop score to be, to be very honest with you. Look the shelves, look the shelves. Okay, it seems that the shelves here are kind of better. I'm not sure, but that's me. That's more or less my feeling, right? And yeah, that's it, guys. I hope you guys like it. Leave it in the comments below. 
and uh, yeah I hope that uh, in the near future the Blender Foundation can add a proper glass shader that behaves like we expect okay see you soon bye bye